until the MV Emprendedora is certified to operate in the country, Tobago's business sector continues to be affected by the inability to get goods and supplies to the island. However, Senator Lawrence Hislop noted the situation points to the need for businesses to increase their storage capacity in cases of emergency. More in this report from senior reporter Candice Jackson. After an 18-hour journey from Venezuela, the MV Emprendedora arrived in Trinidad on Saturday. It is a vessel secured by Bridgman Services Group, which is a broker for the Cabo Star. Following a small engine room fire on board the Cabo Star on August 23rd, the vessel has been down for repairs. Since then, the transport of cargo between the islands have been disrupted. The MV Emprendedora can facilitate one-tenth of the capacity of trucks compared to the Cabo Star. But before it can operate, it must first be certified. In the meantime, essential goods are being accommodated via three-ton trucks on the passenger ferries. Senator Lawrence Hislop said neither the situation nor the temporary solution is ideal, but it is the best option given the circumstances. He also pointed out that it is a signal of the need to improve warehouse capacity in Tobago. How can we create capacity on the island so that we are not as quote unquote, so dependent on a truck moving from Trinidad every day in order for us to get goods. And if by, and if half, by half a week, if we don't have that service, we start in the crisis. Senator Hislop is concerned about what will happen to the business sector during a time of natural disaster. Let's say for instance, God forbid we have a natural disaster and we cut off from Trinidad or from the rest of the world. How then do we take care of ourselves for a period of time until services can be, can be re-established? Meanwhile, political analyst Dr. Winford James dismissed the senator's arguments, accusing him of ignoring the political realities of the situation. Storage space business community coming together and establishing, not only bringing stuff to Tobago, no, but keeping stuff in Tobago through storage media, storage capacities, and so on. So that becomes a very heavily political issue that a youngster like Mr. Hislop cannot uh, escape, he and his party cannot escape from. According to Dr. James, Tobago's current business sector realities are based on the sea bridge being established as an umbilical cord to Trinidad by both the present and previous PNM led governments. How much longer? does Mr. Hislop and others like him expect to be able to wait for a, a state of affairs on the port where things move with the kind of dispatch and the kind of efficiency that we would like to see happen? Business owners previously explained that the disruption in cargo transportation occurred at a time when many businesses were preparing for their monthly restocking. This is why several warehouses are now empty and there is a shortage of certain goods on the island. Candace Jackson, Tobago Updates Television News.